I am done, people. Just done, okay? I just can't do it anymore. Um, this raw food diet. <laughs> wow. I thought about so many great things that could come out of it. Um, and I guess a lot of great things have come out of it. But I just can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey people, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com. Um, yeah, so the raw food detox diet. I have been on the raw food detox diet since January, okay? And I have learned so much and I have done so much um, with different foods and I have learned about some of the good and bad things that we put into our body, right? And, um, and I've learned some of the good and bad things that come out of our body because of a detox. So, I call myself coming off of the raw food detox diet simply for one reason. Because it's no longer a diet to me. It is now a lifestyle. Um, and I don't know if you guys have changed over to a lifestyle instead of a diet, but if you have, can you please tell me when you decided that it was a lifestyle instead of a diet and how you went about, um, especially if you've been doing it for a year or two, how you went about making sure that you continue to follow that lifestyle. Now, the raw, the raw food detox diet for me was just kind of something to do. Um, it was better my body to do a little research to find out um, what kind of things that I could do to improve my diet and my health and wellness. And, um, you know, my good luck. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I have found so many great things about it. There um, are actually, I can think of no bad things, except for maybe now and then I tend not to eat enough, um, or I feel like I'm not eating enough, um, even though I still have energy and I'm not really hungry. Um, I continue to lose a little bit of weight, uh, a little bit of a little bit of weight. Um, I actually, when I first began, I think in the first six weeks, I lost about 13 to 15 pounds. Then I gained back in the last few weeks about mm, six, seven pounds. And now I lost another three pounds, but that's because I was at VidCon and I really was not eating right. You know, I was doing a smoothie in the morning. I'd have like a sandwich for lunch and then I would peck for dinner, you know, because I was so excited that I wasn't even hungry. So it was hard for me to even eat. Um, but now I'm in a lifestyle and I said I think once before that I found a title if you need a title and it's called a flexitarian someone who is striving to eat better for their body at all times a flexitarian that means that I don't I'm not necessarily a vegetarian or vegan or any of those things I eat what I enjoy I eat what I love but I do everything in moderation naturally and I try to incorporate more of the good stuff into my diet. This morning I juiced some oranges and so far that is all I've had. It's about 9.30. I've been up since about 6.30 today um, and I'll probably have a light breakfast or um, maybe actually there's some watermelon that's in the refrigerator so I'll probably have that and then for lunch I might have a salad. Um, I'm not at home so I'll probably have some nuts and seeds that I brought with me um, and then for dinner I think we are going to barbecue today so uh, barbecue with a lot of vegetables and I'll probably try to keep the meat to a minimum um, yeah but I'll eat what I want to eat what I feel like eating what I feel comfortable eating and then I'll move on from there not feeling bad about anything that I do just knowing that I am eating better for my body and that I will make better choices breaks my heart it's bigger than you